In this video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Results Day so you're fully prepared for it and it can be as stress-free as it can be for you. I know Results Day is very stressful. There's so much stuff going on. There's like right now you're watching this, you're very stressed. But don't worry, hopefully this video will clear everything up for you. I'll mention everything from clearing to appealing to getting free food, which I know a lot of you are looking forward to getting free food on the day. And make sure you get it because on my Results Day, I didn't know about it because there's no one like me to tell me about it, but you can go get free food. So don't waste the opportunity, I guess. Uh, and I'll have time stamps telling you when each one is for clearing, for appealing, for free food and for whatever else I'll talk about. I also post daily on my TikTok, keeping you up to date with the news, with everything going on Results Day, what you need to know, grade boundaries. If there's anything that you want to know, follow me on TikTok at 30 Play. I cover it daily. In terms of the day, what happens is usually in the morning, UCAS updates are around 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. And this tells you if you have got your offer or not, whether your offer has been accepted whether they've accepted your grades and um, it doesn't actually tell you your grade though it just tells you whether your offer has been accepted or not hopefully your offer has been accepted you can go into uni you can go into college stress-free collect your grades now obviously every single study plate fan is going to be online at 8 a.m 8 30 a.m so the website does take a while to load not too long i remember uh, when i went on it during my results day it took me about 10 15 minutes to like get into the website there's obviously gonna be a queue because they can't keep up with all the students on the site now if you see you haven't got your offer and you're thinking about going to clearing don't stress don't panic clearing is a first come first serve first come first serve type of basis but don't worry about it just get ready and get ready to go into college to pick up your grades because you do need your grades when applying through clearing so usually the morning is most busy between 9 a.m and about 11 a.m 12 p.m if you don't want to be seen by people if you don't want to see people if you don't want to talk to people that much then don't go in between that time but if you do want to do clearing then go in at that time so you can just contact as many universities as you can as you want now before i get into clearing i just want to say that we recently hit 2,000 subscribers so thank you i am trying to take this youtube thing seriously so let's aim for 3,000 subscribers i'm going to be trying to post every two weeks what is clearing clearing is when on results day you call up universities uh, the university admissions team you tell them your grades and you see what offers they can provide you on the day now this happens because some people don't now this happens because some people miss out on their offers or universities have more spaces available in their courses do this if you don't get the offer that you initially wanted because of your grades so you can see what other offers you can get or if you do better than you expected you can call up universities to see to see if they can offer you anything better now this can be long tiring and chaotic if you're not prepared but Watching this video and watching my TikToks will make you prepared. On my TikTok page, I'll make a video talking about how you can find the university numbers and where to look to find the university numbers to call on the day for clearing. So look out for that. But here are my clearing top tips to make the day much easier for you and to make clearing much easier for you. First up, have your grades on hand. Your A-levels, your GCSEs, your UCAT, any, any exam you've done, any results you have, any grades, just have them on hand so you can read it off to them quickly. Be polite and respectful on the phone call. Obviously, this is just simple manners, but I know it's very like, stressful situation so you may not be but be as polite as you can because they do monitor the phone calls and that might decide whether they give you an offer or not have a pen and paper on hand note down anything they tell you any emails any numbers they give you anything they say just write it down um, and have a pen and paper on hand so you're not too stressed and read your emails clearly because if anything does go through after these phone calls if they do give you an offer or not it comes through through your emails so read your emails clearly Cle clearly i made a tiktok video covering all the russell group unis that I made a TikTok video covering all the Russell Group unis that accept clearing, so some of you may want to go into the Russell Group unis. I'll play the video right now. Going to a Russell Group or non Russell Group uni doesn't make any difference. There isn't any prestige to it or anything. So don't feel intimidated or anything if you don't go to a Russell Group uni. This is just here for your knowledge. So you've got the University of Birmingham, which is available, and they're ranked 13th. University of Bristol, 16th. Cardiff, they're the 27th ranked in the UK. You've got Durham, who are the 7th ranked in the UK. They're the highest that are available in clearing. And we've got Edinburgh at 15th, Exeter at 14th in the UK, Glasgow at 28th, King's College London KCL at 24th, Leeds the 23rd, Manchester the 22nd, Newcastle 26th, Notts 30th, Nottingham University, Queen Mary London at 50th, they're the lowest ranked Russell Group Uni, Queen's Belfast 25th, Sheffield at 18th, Southampton at 20th, Warwick at 10th, which makes it the second highest ranking Russell group that's available in clearing and York at 17th, not to get mistaken with Hull York Medical School who doesn't do clearing. So yeah, those are the type of videos you can expect on my TikTok, so make sure you follow me there if you don't already. Now you may want to appeal your grades. The grades you got on results day, you don't agree with them. You don't think that's how you actually performed on the test. You think there might be a mistake and sometimes there is. 
The way appealing works is your school does it through the exam board, through AQA, LXL, um, OCR. Once the review is done and the results come back, if your school is still unhappy with it, they can send it for another review again. But this is the final time that the exam board looks at it and reviews it. Now, the final option is to go through Ofqual. Ofqual is free and they're pretty much like the, the examining board of everything. They won't change your grade, but if they think there's been a mistake, they will tell the exam board. You have to pay to get it reviewed by the exam boards initially. But if they've made a mistake, they refund you your money. A lot of the time they haven't made a mistake, but sometimes marks do change. So be aware that your grade can go up, but it can also go down. Majority of the time, it does stay the same, but just be aware of that. Now, in terms of free food, there's many places that give you many offers and a lot of free food just for showing your results on the day. So take advantage of it. After you've sorted everything out, go out and enjoy the day with your friends, your family, whoever you want to, and just enjoy it. You're done. It's in the past now. I made a TikTok video on that, and I'll play that TikTok video now. First up is Nando's, where they give you a free starter or a free quarter chicken if you spend seven pounds or more. Chiquitos will give you a tortilla garlic bread and a Coke Zero. You don't have to spend anything. Bella Italia offers you a 30% discount on the whole food bill. TGI Fridays might offer you 24% off their food bill. Papa John's will offer you 50% off if you spend £30 or more. The Ivy, which I'm pretty sure is quite bougie, they offer you a two course meal for 50 quid and a three course meal for 60 quid. Frankie and Benny's offer a free margarita pizza and a free uh, regular Coke if you just show your results. Wild Woods, which I've not heard of, offers a classic margarita or a spaghetti pomodoro uh, if you spend minimum £7. Now, this is all that I've managed to find online. If I find any more, I'll make more videos. Hopefully this video was somewhat useful to you. I tried covering everything in terms of clearing, the peeling, free food that you get on the day, how UCAS works on the day. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, message me on Instagram, TikTok, or email me. It's all in my description if you're interested. And yeah, make sure you follow me on TikTok. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. And make sure you subscribe because I'm on the way to 5,000 subscribers, hopefully. One day I'll, hop, I'll hit 5,000 subscribers. But yeah, for now, thank you for 2K. And stay around because I have so much more university content, student content, all that content coming up.